Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some new tools and integrations DistroKid has added to their website. That way you can better market your music. I'll be using a cover song that I uploaded for this example. All right guys, so in today's video, I wanted to go over some of the new features that are in the DistroKid website. There's a new tab called the goodies tab and everything is pretty easily accessible through this menu. You have a lot of options for getting onto playlists now, such as a social media website that's designed for listening to new music, a playlist spotlight where you can vote on tracks that the community has submitted and also submit your own tracks for voting. That way DistroKid can better curate a playlist based off of actual real community feedback and help you find some cool artists in the process. And lastly, the Wheel of Playlists, which just puts you randomly onto the Spotify playlist, but you just kind of pick your song and connect it with Spotify, and then you just spin the wheel, and that'll determine what your placement is on the actual playlist, best out of three. So you, it's a pretty easy way to get onto a playlist and get your music heard by a lot of people. Next up, we have the Promote Yourself tab, which has a lot of the same cool features that District had had in the past, such as the hyperfollow and the mini videos, but they've added in some new stuff into these as well. You'll see that uh, <laughs> um, here's a couple examples of some of the ones that I have made. This is a one for people equal shit cover that we did uh, a while back and I made a video with baby Yoda for that one <laughs> and then uh, also this cool video that we did using one of the generators So all in all, a bunch of very cool tools to be able to have a new representation on your music for social media. Because, I mean, sharing your music online and having a very professional, presentable look really helps get the point across and helps kind of give people a certain vibe, especially when you're checking out new music. So a lot of cool options in here. There's some free ones and as as well as some paid ones as well. So if you would like to look into the paid options, there's some very cool, very cool stuff. And they will also apply to specific social media types as well. So if you're looking for a specific um, square version, you can get that. If you're looking for the vertical version, um, you can as well. And long format for stories and such. So you can kind of get all of them. And then depending on which ones you select, that'll kind of determine the pricing for the overall video. But honestly, not a bad trade off to have very cool visuals to accompany your material because. Why not? <laughs> it looks awesome. And then, uh, of course, there's some of these generated promo cards. So again, this just is basing off of the social media stuff. So based off of your music type, you'll want to select whichever one of these applies best to that. And then you have a cool, sleek looking aesthetic for your actual background. And more than just a, hey, go check out my music at this post and this link it just looks a little bit more presentable and I think a little bit nicer and I think small details like that end up going a long way. Uh, social phone is a way of contacting people directly through text messaging. I haven't used this one personally but and there's not really any people in my city of San Antonio so this kind of doesn't apply to me but a cool option nonetheless and upstream is a really cool way for undiscovered artists to find their way in front of actual labels so if you're interested in joining upstream you can basically just sign up and labels will hit you up if you have anything that they think is viable for a record contract so right now we have republic records they're responsible for a lot of big artists such as drake taylor swift post malone so um obviously this is a very cool direct way of potentially getting signed and if you're a new artist and you have no no networking and don't really understand how to go about this kind of stuff this would be a pretty easy in and it's free so why not and then special access basically gives you the ability to go through all of your distribution sites and kind of just tweak them the way you need them so pretty cool you try to make it really nice and easy and centralized to really just be able to access all of the menus and tools that you'll need for releasing your own music and enhance your music is pretty cool so you can add in your lyrics to actual songs just select the song, add in the lyrics, and you're basically good to go. That's how you get all these cool features on um, 
on like social media. Credits is one big one that I personally enjoy as an engineer and producer. You can basically add who wrote the song, who was on the song, who produced it, things like that. And then all of that info will pop up on the actual song anytime people pull up the information. So if you go to Spotify and look at the tab of credits, all the people that you list will show up there. So that's a very cool way for someone like me to get more work through people who enjoy the music that I make and also help other people who might be interested in making that same music find people to work with and then uh, one cute feature I don't remember if this was in the last update or not but this is like an AI bot and this will basically just listen to your music and break it down for you in terms of like what it thinks about your song so <laughs> so he'll know the exact length of key time signature how loud the, the track was mastered the tempo and then he will basically <laughs> uh, figure out what the overall song feel is as well so this is kind of like a silly thing it's kind of cool um these are just cool things to share especially if you're interested in how the actual track was made or the vibe that you get off of the songs the vault is a pretty cool one it basically just keeps a record of the stuff that you upload so you don't ever have to worry about losing something like i know i'm pretty meticulous about data and keeping all of my stuff organized so if I ever lose something, it's not that big a deal for me, but sometimes I have had hard drives die and things go missing, so having your uploaded music stored online as well is always a smart idea. It's just a cool way to make sure that you never lose the original files that you uploaded with. And uh, the other option is also DistroLock, so you can keep people from stealing your music and uploading it to other places without your consent and permission. So. Basically, this is just a way to make sure that you're the only one that's uploading your own music uh, and nobody else is kind of monetizing it or profiting off of it. So it's just a cool service to have that. And uh, it's an automatic detection system. So they'll just kind of scope out everything the way other streaming services and platforms do where well, they'll just kind of look for content that matches a certain criteria. And if it is turns out to be yours, then voila you uh you have content protection for in those instances and they will either scrub those and contact you or they will just delete them and you'll never know about them and yours are the only ones that remain and lastly this is just a couple of helper tools and id if you need to make any corrections on your music uh, my music is on the incorrect page so helpful when you need it and lastly there's just some stuff like the spotify uri these are just codes to kind of track your music across the internet and to best generate all of that stuff when you need to track statistics uh, independently. So nice tools for DistroKid to have. And finally, we have the YouTube allow list. So this is in the case of me, who is a YouTuber. If I want to exempt my own videos from copywriting themselves, then I could just add the URLs here. They will no longer cause any issues when I upload stuff that I record myself, but the system will still continue to track and regulate as normally to get rid of other stuff that I may or may not want re-uploaded. And that's all the new features on the website. So I know this isn't really drum related, but I felt like this was some pretty useful information for a lot of bands and artists who release music, but don't necessarily have any avenues for promoting themselves or don't know how to go about it. So I think it's pretty cool for DistroKid to have integrated a lot of this stuff into their website. So it's really, it really makes it an all in one stop uh, for your music. I hope this video helped you all. And once again, thanks to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Mwah.